Oh, welcome back to Let's Talk Entertainment News. If you've not subscribed to our channel, please take a moment to do that now. Also, if you have something positive and constructive to say, feel free to drop it in the comment section below, but don't shoot the messenger. Keep it on topic, make it about the information and not about the host. All right, uh, moving on to our first story for today. And it's been the first one in about a week for me because I've been doing a lot of shorts lately and I thought I should get back to doing regular videos. So here we go. Um, Unsolved Mysteries Behind the Legacy 30th Anniversary Special coming this October. I don't know about you, but uh, once upon a time, Unsolved Mysteries was must-see TV at my house way back in the day. And um, it was about the closest thing to uh, reality TV that we watched. And this is actually predating when they actually called these types of shows reality TV. But I digress. Um, someone, somewhere, knows the truth. That core idea was the basis for Unsolved Mysteries, the classic Robert Stack-hosted television series that began haunting viewers in 1988. I would have been six years old. The show is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year, and The Wrap has announced that Unsolved Mysteries Behind the Legacy is on the way from Film Rise and Alamo Drafthouse. The 30th anniversary... A 35th anniversary special premieres in theaters on October 4th at Alamo Draft House locations nationwide. I have no idea where the nearest Alamo Draft House is from me. And it's coming to ad supported VOD platforms on October 5th. You can grab your tickets from the Alamo Draft House now by clicking the link. I'll leave a link to this video or to this story in the description below. In the special, co creators Terry Don Muir and John Cosgrove join actors, producers, and directors involved in the series. Multi season run as the cast and crew lift the curtain on the making of the show from audience involvement on tips, research, casting, and solving mysteries. The rap notes fans attending the the rap notes. Fans attending the Alamo Draft House screenings will experience a 90-minute presentation featuring the 60-minute TV special alongside a half-hour compilation of fan-favorite moments, while the streaming program will only feature the 60-minute special. Um, there is a trailer for this, which you can watch, again, by clicking on the link to this story in the description below. In 1988, Robert Stack donned his trademark trench coat for the very first episode of Unsolved Mysteries on NBC. This was something never before seen, a hybrid of news magazine and drama that offered a mix of true crime stories, legends of the weird and the paranormal, and tales of loved ones separated by time and geography. The original series lasted 11 years, defining an entire genre of true crime programming and inspiring generations of am amateur sleuths worldwide. And then they bring it back um, in some form or another, um, a lower budget, more trashy cable TV type of version. I think so. I never watched that very much, um, but I do love and remember the original uh, with Robert Stack and his trademark voice, which is a little bit like an American Sean Connery, if I had to describe it. Uh, um, but yeah, yeah, as I was saying up top, uh, this was must-see TV once upon a time back when uh, living out in the country um, with a antenna on the roof, way up on the roof. We basically got NBC, CBS, ABC, and then eventually Fox, uh, which you could barely make out. I watched the first couple seasons of the X-Files that way, um, where I was trying to tell what the hell was going on through all the static and snow. Uh, but Unsolved Mysteries, um, a very iconic show, and it's hard to believe it's been 35 years, and it's pretty cool to see that it's getting a special. Uh, what do you think? Is this something that interests you? Um, is this something that you revisit in, um, in the in the reruns, uh, in streaming, uh, wherever you can uh, find it these days. Uh, let me know. Uh, feel free to drop it in the comment section below. And until next time, keep it creepy.